Welcome back to Jamie's channel. If you've been watching my video, you guys probably know that I moved to Southern California for my full-time job and I haven't shown you guys officially around my house. So today I decided to film a house tour. When I first told all my friends and family members that I'm moving to California, a lot of people had this negative perspectives as a new grad because they have the perception that California is so expensive. So I just wanted to show you guys what I pay for. So right now I'm paying $27.40 for a house in Anaheim, California. Anaheim is part of uh, Orange County, um, which is also known for Disneyland. Some people in Orange County actually have a negative perspective. I've heard people calling the city and a crime, but I am okay with living here and also it's pretty close to where I work so I do not have a serious problem and also because of all this quarantine I haven't really got to explore around that much so it is what it is um, and also 2740 includes electricity because this house has a solar panel so I always just pay $90 I have three bedrooms and 1.5 bathrooms and a backyard and a front yard and a garage and I live with my boyfriend so we split the rent so for me what is 2740 divided by 2 1370 per month even in Texas I think to rent a house it will be I mean cheaper than here but I don't believe that it will be way much cheaper so I'm not complaining anything about the rent and honestly California has so much to offer and I am a city person so I am okay with however much I'm paying for. Side note, I was gonna buy all of my furniture and just get them done, but then in the middle of working on it, uh, this happened and I wasn't able to go to Ikea. I basically stopped working on the house, even though it is the perfect time since I'm in the house always anytime. So it's not very clean and it's not very pretty either. So I just wanted to give you guys a heads up. I have a very small yard right here and uh, this house had a lot of plants so we have a palm tree uh, there's a driveway for my my boyfriend and my car we are not using the garage because this garage door is actually manual um, so you have to lift up using that handle so this is our front yard i mean front door so when you come in you'll see my dog we have our chair rack and this is what you face when you first come in i think it's kind of ridiculous that we have a fireplace and there's a clearly a mark that we, someone had their tv hung up on there but i just thought it was a little bit weird that it's facing the door so because of that we had to put the couch in the middle facing sideways which I also think it's a little bit weird but I had to space this living room kind of in a way that the TV is not facing the door so we have our TV I put a plant right there which I really love and I'm so glad that I bought the plant and I bought this clock from Amazon and I got so many compliments and this is actually my favorite corner for, from my house I recently got this LP player from Urban Outfitter uh, which is the same one that Gedin has and I think it's really cute and so far I've only bought two LP players but I'm trying to make a collection in this right above the on fire place with the gym being closed we've been buying a lot of workout stuff so we have that corner with a bunch of weights and all that so right next to the living room is our dining table and i got these three boxes from ikea and also this dining table it comes with four chairs 
right but right now two of them are missing because I need to cherish other places and then I have a few collections I've been starting collecting a little bit of board games so that's there and then a little bit of more board game right there and then the art I made in the the first quarantine vlog I believe um, is hung up right now here and then to the right you can see our kitchen this I always put in my kitchen and I got it from uh, New York Museum of Modern Art five years ago and I'm so glad I got it and this one I got when I first moved to Cali or when I first visited California and when I accepted the job offer here and then this is our kitchen um, and there's leftover waffles here and yeah basically nothing much I just did dishes so the dish rack's full uh, it was missing a dishwasher which me and my boyfriend weren't aware of until we moved in and it was so hard for us to get a house before I moved from Texas because I couldn't get a tour yeah we basically didn't notice until we actually did dishes and the water is actually so weak that it takes forever to do dishes so I that is a big downside of our kitchen and then here we got uh, new laundry machines I forgot how much they were exactly but we got them from Costco so it was a little bit cheaper and then here is a food pantry uh, they didn't have a closed pantry so it's open which I don't really like because there's a bathroom which I will probably ask the guests to use but then they have to go through this food section right before they go to the bathroom and I feel like this area is so uh, open and exposed so there is this 0.5 bathroom it's really small it's really tight as you can see it's just for one person uh, to just use a bathroom at once so that's why they call it a 0.5 bathroom what are you doing? Uh, what I like though is that they have a nest so you can actually adjust your temperature and everything with your phone so I really like that and I have another art here that I made a few years ago so there is this first room where Sam sits this was on my vlog the other day um, he basically has four monitors and he plays a game here and he likes to have his desk face the center of the room which I don't like but that's what he prefers so we have him there with a bunch of wires and my desk is not any better because it looks so unorganized but it was his desk he basically got this his fancy desk that rises up and rises down so he gave me his old desk that was like 20 bucks and then he also gave me his old chair because he now got a fancy chair it's not even that fancy <laughs> Well, it was more expensive than I could ever afford though, so so there he is uh, yeah, playing not. his game in <laughs> Do not put this This room is connected to our garage So I'll show you guys our garage, which is not in a very good condition It has all the boxes we have from moving in and also the stuff that's on that table is all from the previous owners and they never cleaned it so we we're just living it there uh, which is kind of weird but we don't ever use this garage i was thinking it might be a cool place to work out but nothing has been done there is a second room which is just a spare room i'm trying to have this wall decorated with a lot of um, framed art but right now i only put five of them and i put my vanity here because i go to work at 5 30 and my boyfriend is in sleep so i decided to move this vanity here so that i don't wake him up when i do my stuff in the morning and then this bed is a uh, actually air mattress it's not really a good bed but 
It is what it is. This is what we're offering, so I am sorry in advance. And if you watch my last vlog, this is the lens I got at the end of the vlog. So it's here, and I'm excited to use it. And I got this uh, standing lamp uh, from Target, and I really, really love it. It actually brightens the whole room up, and I think it's really cute. And then here is a very small collection of Toy Story and the New York poster I got from Paper Source. And right now that drawer uh, shelf is empty, so I gotta come up with something. And I should not put it there because that is in the middle of the walkway. Uh, so it's hit my head multiple times. Um, but I try to decorate this room so that whoever comes over and ever have to sleep over has a good time here. And then here is our bathroom. So as you can see, it's for two people, I guess. And then I got this shower, cur shower curtain from Urban Outfitters and I also got a bath mat from Urban Outfitters. So it says peach queen, so they match. Yeah, nothing fancy. And honestly, it needs to be more organized. And then this is our bedroom. Um, it's pretty empty. I have my closet right here and Sam has his closet right here. Um, this room also connects to the backyard. That there is our dog's bed and this drawer I built which is missing one of them as you can see and it was brand new and I swear I followed the instructions but they're falling apart. And I don't know why and I am very pissed off and I haven't really tried to put the other one back in. I thought this would be cute to have like a standing hanger but I think I need to do something with the like which clothes to hang in order to make it look cute because right now it looks just messy. But yeah this is a king size bed and it, this room isn't that big so it filled up the room pretty good. This is our backyard. As you can see, we were trying to get a house with the proper size of the yard so that we can play with our dog in the yard. And also, he's so used to um, going to the bathroom in the backyard that we just wanted to make sure that he has a yard for the bathroom purposes. Here are the dog poops. You might have not signed up for this. It's a decent size of... Uh, yard I usually work out here and our owner had uh, lemon trees which we haven't been really taking care of but they've been producing lemons and there's also an orange tree my camera is dying I try to go through that pretty quick and the rooms are not too big but we have three rooms and also I was very focused on having a decent size of backyard so I'm pretty happy with what we have in this house. We're trying to decide whether to move out of this house next year or not. If we do, it would be probably because of the neighborhood. There are a lot of homeless people near this area. At night, we sometimes hear like gunshots. I don't know if there are fireworks or gunshots yet, but recently I've been listening to a lot of gunshots so the dishwasher is actually affecting us a lot because we're spending like half an hour to an hour every like every other day to just to do the dishes that was it and I hope you guys enjoyed this video I think maybe my viewers in Korea might find this more interesting to have an idea of how much we have to pay in America to live in such conditions. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!